this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, create your own library of crown molding so I'm going to start with a new element and I will make this full, full and thickness as thin as possible and it's very tiny but then you go to the ship editor and if you notice in the background I have some uh, uh, crown molding profiles that I got uh, online uh, Google you can actually go to uh, um, just look up crown molding profiles and make sure you go to images and you will see a whole bunch of them here um, you don't want to use them for commercial uh, not for commercial unless of course you know because some of these are copyrighted uh, but I grabbed one of those somebody gave it to me and um, so this is what I did I just went to file background and uh, you can clear you see there's nothing or you can change it and I believe it was this one open and uh, by the way you can change the transparency if you want it too dark or just a little bit and then you just click close the reason why I do this is because uh, it's a lot easier to trace it so control A and I want to do this one here okay so just follow the lines follow the lines quite simple you always go anti-clockwise all the time alright let me zoom in make sure I don't miss anything so right here I'm gonna make a nice carve so I can pull this handle trace that shape and then of course another one there you go and then this one here make a nice carve there you go and the next one almost done and the next one oops grab the wrong side there you go zoom in make sure you see what you can you're doing all right and the next one and I think we're done there you go and that's the last one right there alright so you just close and here we go that's our shape so the first thing you want to use it as a template so make a copy and then change the thickness that way I can stretch it but you want to lock the width and the height so it doesn't change and you can uh, stretch it and that's the first piece that we have you can see it here looking nice and then we're gonna make the corners now so we're, we're making a 90 degree corner for the crown molding and I will show you how to make other angles as well so here I'm just gonna take two steps and a corner and I want 90 degrees it's that simple create and you'll get that you just rotate and you can see it's sitting there very nicely you really need to make only just one because the rest now you can just make copies uh, like this one I want to make the other end just make a copy and just rotate like that and it's that simple make sure it's aligned nicely now another cool feature that you want to make sure you use you want to lock the ends make sure nothing can be resized uh, but the middle one you only lock the depth because we want to be able to 
uh, stretch it to whatever size so I lock those two and then I'm just going to group it and give it a name car molding there you go so now I can uh, just resize if I want to to whatever size you know uh, say you don't want the corner shape the angle you want it round uh, that's easy I can just select both side control select that one and that one uh, go to lathe and this time I'm gonna remove the steps to zero sorry to zero no corners just 90 and you'll see what I mean apply and check that out it's round All right. so if you want now you can add this to your library add to library name it whatever you can also um, set up different angles like maybe a 45 degree let's try that that'll give us a nice angle just like that and then I'm gonna rotate that let me turn off the lights I'm gonna rotate that to 45 degrees angle just like that oh, other side so one two and that will give us a nice curvy shape if you align to the right make sure it's aligned nicely just like that and of course I can make it 90 again two steps corner oops uh, I can control Z to undo and uh, we're going to try make this become a corner step one maybe step two in a corner there you go so now we're making that nice 145 angle and of course if you want to extend this other section I'll just copy that resize it right rotate that to 90 degrees I mean to uh, uh, 45 and then I like to work on the plan view so I can join them really nice like that I'm holding down my shift to override collision and it will just snap like that so now I have a nice one and of course you can do the same for the other side you just I would just copy that and make sure it's on the other side same way if you have any questions give me a call 574-314-6741 or visit pro100usa.com thank you